In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're going to go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. Our Newfoundland journey began in St. Anthony, but an unexpected mechanical issue forced us south, bypassing Gross Moor National Park. After the wheel bearing was replaced, we had a decision to make. Do we go back to Gross Moor National Park, or do we go east in search of icebergs? Of course, we chose icebergs. But the time has come for us to start heading back west in the direction of Gross Moor. That video will be next week, but today we continue our iceberg quest. That's a big one out there. Look at the rugged coastline. Not the giant iceberg. Oh, we're gonna have to come back. There might be a trail up to one of these points out here. That's cool. Today we are in the small town of Leading Tickles and this area is known as Ocean View Park and there is a campground here. You are allowed to camp during the off season for free from what we can tell and then the pay season usually starts in May, May 24th I think this year but stay to the end of the video where we cover all the details that you will want to know if you're going to come here yourself. And this area, I can tell already, super special. This is going to be a destination location and I can't wait to explore. The tide's low right now, so I think I might be able to scale around the edge of that rock and go out to that point if I keep an eye out for big sneaker waves coming in and see what's around the corner. This is a little chip from that iceberg that you can see right about in the middle of the screen off in the distance. And we know that because we know it's fresh water. We've already taken, I don't know if it's from that iceberg, but I'm guessing it is, but we've taken some of it inside and melted it. And it is fresh water. And we saw another guy out here with an ax that chopped a big chunk off and took it with him. Oh boy. It looks like I'll be able to make it without getting my feet wet, hopefully. How beautiful is this? I'm so excited. When we find locations like this to stay, 
It just, it never gets old. I feel like a little kid in a candy store. So thankfully the rocks aren't slippery at all. I'm getting a good grip on them. Uh, it doesn't look like I have a lot of time. The water's already coming up. But I just want to peek around the corner and then get back across. Oh, oh, oh yeah. It's right in front of us. It looks a little further than it is because it's got to be within a couple, well, 100 yards, I would say. All right, well, I better get back before my window of opportunity disappears here, which I think is going to be real short as the tide is coming in strong right now. Our van is behind those rocks and I walked across this rugged stretch of beach line here because I thought for sure there was an arch and I even told Carrie when we drove up I think there's an arch over there and then I got up here nope it's not she knew it wasn't she was like there's no arch over there my eyes are playing tricks on me Oh, you can see that other iceberg. Oh, it looks huge. I know that one's big out there. Woohoo! It's a rough day out here. Absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful day here and we're gonna take a short hike right from camp and there's a hill just behind the van there. And we can go all the way to the top. There's a lookout, possibly a lighthouse. It's hard to tell. So we're gonna go up there and explore, see what we can find. We're parked right beside what they call the cookhouse. And I'm thinking that is the snack room or maybe the snack shack. We should be open here in about another week or two. It's a perfect day for an outing. We have our light jackets on. Yeah, for once. 
The sun is partially out. We can feel the warmth of it. Light wind, super enjoyable to be outside. So we're gonna go do. That's a great day for a little hike. Hike, yeah. I don't know how little it is because that mountain looks pretty big. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a doozy, but. We'll see. So right here from the beach, we can see six icebergs. How many do you think we'll be able to see from up there? At least a couple more. Yeah. I'm gonna say 10. Wow. <laughs> and I noticed on Google map, there's a little lighthouse or light on the top. It's hard to tell what it is. So I didn't read anything about it. We'll just have to explore. <sighs> Feels so good to be outside. <sighs> that looks pretty uh, intense. Bearco lookout. <laughs> oh, you ready? This is super steep and it's not steps. It's just got some traction on it and a handrail. Yeah, it's super steep. <laughs> it works. Kick your butt real quick though. Oh boy. Wow. Smart construction, they got drainage underneath. Oh, the water just goes underneath the wood. Yeah, I've never seen this before. Pretty cool. Real doesn't have any problem. Looks like a type of conveyor belt. Ruda likes going on these walks, yeah. Taking a little break. He especially likes it when we're together. He does, that's when he's happiest. That's when he does stuff he normally doesn't do, like he'll get to find a stick or he'll start running around and jumping. Hi, buddy. Okay. There's no need for a leash. There's no other people or dogs up here. Let's go. All right, wow. we're, we're just about to the top. I'm not gonna give away the view quite yet because the lookout is right there. And then it's time to start counting icebergs. So this is definitely the spot to come see icebergs. We did end up counting exactly 10, 10, 10 icebergs. And I'm sure there's more that are blocked that we can't see. This is a phenomenal view. It sure is. I have to come up here at sunset. Yeah, that'd make a great sunset. Or sunrise. Either way. Yeah, 360 view. I've never seen him do that before. Ozzy taught him that. No, he yeah. learned it from him, always know. <laughs> he did, so. he taught him that.
Because <laughs> he, he loves snow, but he's never rolled in it before. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We're all just enjoying a few minutes down at the beach on one of the warmer days we've had yet. The sun's out. Perfect day just to hang out and relax a little bit. And Rudel is soaking up the heat from that black sand. And so is Carrie. We're doing something that we normally don't do, and that's an excursion without Rudel. So he played really hard with Ozzy, the new dog that he met here at Leading Tickles. We're gonna go, it's low tide, or going to be low tide in an yep. hour. We're gonna go kinda tide pooling, but we're gonna walk around the big island, check out some icebergs. Rudel doesn't like the waves and the rocks are really sharp. Yeah, and slippery. So we're gonna leave, leave him at home. He's gonna take a nap. And we're gonna go enjoy this glorious sunshine. Yes, it feels great. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yep, and this of course will be another iceberg tour. We'll get to see them all the way around this thing. Yeah. So, looking forward to that. just so clear and check out this awesome rock it's a lot bigger than it looks from the camera position yesterday this was all ice today there's no ice yeah it was like an ice wave only one day ago and it's all melted and gone now doesn't last very long I feel like you could almost get out to that iceberg. Of course, you don't want to play on them or climb on them because they can flip over at any minute. And we've already seen a couple that have flipped overnight in the morning. They just look like a whole different chunk of ice. But boy, I'm tempted. I would love to just to crawl on one.
This one's big. This one's big. Boom. Wow. And another big one. My favorite thing about this area is the icebergs only because we have seen more icebergs here than any other location that we've been to so far. Yes. My favorite thing is just the location. It's remote. It's beautiful. The air, the campground is just, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better location. Yeah. The access to the ocean is just yes. incredible here. Yes. All right. What you need to know if you come here, first off, rig size. There's a total of 21 campsites and a lot of those campsites are for tents. And so I would say a pretty small rig for the most part. So maybe 25 feet or less. But then there are a few extra large um, RV pull through, not pull throughs, but back into spots as well. There's only like a handful though. Yeah. And it's still going to be pretty tight getting yourself in there. It is. And you will want to definitely make reservations if you have a large rig before you get here. I totally agree. They could be completely filled up and then you'd come all the way out there and have no place to go. So this location is a hidden gem that's not so hidden. And in the winter time, it's not widely used like when we were here but in the summertime it is packed we were talking to some locals and they said that the locals pay for a year a summer pass the entire summer pass and they they live there for yeah. the summer it's so. just that good this is a town of 300 people and you got people that just spend their summer right there in the park yeah so. so you're definitely going to want to call for reservations before you come now there is quite a few amenities there is showers there's a laundry facility um, there's a snack shack and this is all during the summer season mm -hmm. there's water at the site most every site has water I, I did see a couple that don't but almost every site that has water and some have electricity hookups yes but there are no dump there are no sewage hookups. There is a dump station though at the top of the hill right when you come in. So, I mean, it has everything you need. Now, in the summertime, you can go swimming. They said it's warm enough to swim. Yeah. You can whale watch. Uh, the local we were talking to said the whales come right in the bay. You can sit right on shore and watch the whales. Yep. You can go paddle boarding. You can go kayaking. You can go hiking. There's a trail right from the campground. And there's also a couple trails that you have to drive to that are real nearby. Yeah, there are like oh. three three trails right from the campground. They're pretty good incline, but you'll get the most fabulous yeah, views. Great views. This is a really cool spot. I totally yeah. suggest that if you want to get a little bit off the beaten path that you come here and check it out. Now, you know, we're not super big on paid campgrounds from May 24th to what, September? September 4th. This is a paid campground. Um, I will link the website below in the video description and in the pinned comments. But I believe it's $25 a night. I'm sure that goes up maybe. Every year, possibly. Well, depending on what, yeah. you, what you need there. Um, and it's a trek out here. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. we haven't talked about this yet, but you're going to see a lot of signs in Canada that say potholes ahead. Yeah, so this is about <laughs> 70 kilometers off the Trans-Canada Highway. And we noticed once you get off the Trans-Canada Highway, the roads get quite a bit rougher. So just drive slower. You'll yes. want to anyway, just to see the scenery and to watch out for moose. 
Now, we haven't seen any moose yet, but there are supposed to be lots of moose in the area. So, I mean, this area just has everything you could want. Yeah, wait till you see the coastline. It's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is. What do, oh, so we read on iOverlander that you can camp here off season. It is open. We did uh, email and get permission to camp there. They said that was fine. Yeah, so you got to remember that this is a private campground. So these are private owners. So if you do camp here off season, it's a good idea just to get permission. And of course, you're going to want to leave it spotless. You're not, mm -hmm. you're going to want to pack in, pack out, maybe even do a little cleanup, uh, pick up after your pets uh, and just because it's pretty cool that they're allowing people to stay here for free off season. It is, it is. And if you come to this area and you have a small vehicle and you want to be secluded, check out campsite number 21. Yeah. It's right, it looks the bay, it's the only campsite on that area. Yeah. And, and if that campsite's full, I recommend any campground from six to 10. Any campsite? Any campsite from six to 10 because it's right on the beach great view um, you can't beat it yeah i mean we can't say enough good things about yeah. this location it's a small fishing village uh, <laughs> yeah the town itself only has 296 people so if you're going to get supplies probably get them before you come in there uh, there is a variety store that is well supplied but still no major supplies right yeah, and we never saw a gas station. We so couldn't make sure find you're a gas full station. on gas yeah. when you come in. It seems like there's probably one there somewhere because of all the fishing activity, but we couldn't find it. Yeah. I think that's anything else. I mean, no, that was it. I'm so glad we came yeah. to this spot. Yeah, me too. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you get a chance to visit some of these locations. Um, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks for coming along and we will catch you next video. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching.